Yeah, after the USO's downtown location in Jacksonville was condemned in 2021, the organization decided to move a little bit closer to where they were needed, right inside of Camp Lejeune. The old USO location was built in the 1940s during World War II, but was closed down in 2021 due to safety concerns like uneven floorboards and its structural integrity. I think it's a lot to say goodbye to that old building. I think there's a lot of history there and a lot of warmth and a lot of really incredible old stories where people came home from Vietnam and that was their safe place. The organization decided to move their location into Camp Lejeune to be closer to active Marines. It's now just down the street from the barracks on base and officially opened for business Thursday morning. So be able to be honored enough to build another place that will do that for our service members today is hard to say goodbye, but also incredibly rewarding to be a part of the hello of the future. Commanding officer of Camp Lejeune, Colonel Adolfo Garcia, says they tried to retain the history and legacy of the old USO's building in the new one. The USO's mission is to provide a place of comfort and resources to active duty service members, which Boggs is happy to continue. Sometimes it seems so simple to be like, oh, I, you just need chips dropped off at the USO. That bag of chips and that Coca-Cola means a whole lot to somebody who's far away from home, who just needs that hug, who needs that smiling face, who needs that safe place to go. It makes them feel connected. It helps with camaraderie and at the end of the day, resiliency. And when we're resilient, we're all in it together. Now you can see in some of the video, I got the chance to go into the new Yoso building today and they've got everything from kids reading areas to play areas. They've got adult rooms that are quiet for places for reading and relaxation. It looks like a really great building and they're looking forward to having it fully open. Live in Onslow County, Rebecca McGann, News Channel 12.